Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be installing Ubuntu Linux onto the Acer C7 Chromebook here. Uh, as a disclaimer, everything we're about to do now is going to completely wipe out and delete all of your local stored data, so make sure you back it up onto an external drive or store it onto your cloud. And I have a fresh, clean uh, install of Chrome OS onto this C7. If you want to uh, check out another video I made on how to completely wipe out and restore your C7, um, the link will be in the description. All right, so let's get right into it. The first thing we got to do is enable the developer mode, and for that, I actually have to power down and completely turn off the C7. And so once it's uh, completely powered off, before you power it back on, you hold the escape button and the refresh button, so that's uh, escape and F3, hold those two buttons down, and then press the power button one time and you're gonna continue holding the F3 and the escape button and you'll get this uh, Chrome OS is missing or damaged you have to press control D so hold down control and then press the letter D and so once you do that uh, it's gonna ask to uh, turn OS verification off press enter your local system data will be cleared and so this process should take about 15 minutes or so. Alright, so once you see this screen, you can go ahead and press Control D to skip it, or you could just sit here and wait 30 seconds if you want, and it will then do its magic and automatically start going into the developer mode. A lot of people ask me, do I have to press Control D all the time? No, you don't have to press Control D but you could just sit here and wait for that beep uh, in order for it to uh, continue on uh, through the process. Control D just makes it convenient and skips this 30 second wait time. All right, so this is the process of uh, enabling the developer mode. So just go ahead and uh, sit tight, wait for this to complete and your system will restart on its own. Or if it shuts down, then you'll just have to power it up again uh, yourself. All right, so now we are in the developer mode. Uh, even though it doesn't really look like anything's changed, you're gonna have to log in with your uh, Gmail account again and connect to your internet. So once you do that, we can continue moving on. All right, so we're logged into our Chromebook here and we're gonna fire up the Chrome browser and we're going to download the Crouton file. And I've conveniently created a shortcut for you and it's j.mp slash cb crouton and again the link to this will be in the description uh, but once you type that in and press enter it downloads the file here and it puts it in the uh, downloads folder and that's where it should stay and remain uh, for this installation process here's the downloads folder here's the file there and so it's a little script that we're about to run all right and so once you've downloaded that next we're going to press control alt t right so control alt hold those two buttons down and then type in t and this is going to uh, bring up the terminal and we're gonna then our first command that we're gonna type in is shell s h e l l press enter All right next we're gonna type in sudo s u d o space s h space dash e space tilde so that's shift and the little squiggly sign that's next to the uh, number one button on the left hand side of the keyboard and then a slash forward slash downloads slash crouton space dash t space and so here's where you need to choose what type of Ubuntu Linux you want. We have the option of using XFCE, which is a light version of it. Uh, there's not a lot of um, graphical type of animations. It's not very, you know, colorful or anything like that, but it does take up less resources. 
And to do that, you would type in XFCE if that's what you want. However, I am actually going to install full-blown the Unity um, interface or GUI. And so I'll just type in uh, space U-N-I-T-Y. All right. And so once you uh, have that command t typed in, you can go ahead and press enter. And so this particular process is going to take a little while, um, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And also, uh, if you leave the laptop here, I do suggest that you plug in the power and uh, the screen might go off or your uh, device might actually shut down because uh, there's been some inactivity for so long. Um, it's okay. You can actually just start the process again, type in the, con the commands, and uh, it will continue on uh, where it left off or start the process over again. So don't worry if, it, if you come back and it's the, the device is shut off. Uh, nothing's going to harm um, the, the process, really. So, uh, but if you do, you know, if you can, just move the mouse around every, you know, so often and uh, it won't uh, automatically shut off the, the device. And so once this is complete, uh, we'll come back and uh, continue. All right, so now that the installation has completed and that process took about 20 to 30 minutes for me, uh, again, it may take a little bit longer for you or a little bit quicker for you. And uh, now it's gonna ask for a primary username. So I'll go ahead and create that. I type that in, press enter. Then it's asking for a primary password. Right, and uh, as you type in, you won't see any characters. Um, so just go ahead and type it in and press enter. Make sure that you are uh, entering it in correctly. You have to enter it in twice. All right, and so that's pretty much it for the installation process. Now, in order to start uh, the new desktop environment, where you're gonna type in is sudo space start, and since I installed Unity, I'm typing in uh, start Unity, but if you installed it with the XFCE, you would have to type in XFCE4 and then press enter. Uh, but like I said, I did Unity. So it's start Unity, all uh, one word, no spaces. And then I'll just go ahead and press enter. And now it's gonna start up Ubuntu Linux. All right, and so uh, it was a pretty quick startup. Uh, what's cool about this uh, particular method is that the downloads folder here is shared between uh, the two operating systems, Chrome OS and uh, Linux. And so uh, here's the crouton file that I downloaded in Chrome OS. And uh, that's uh, really convenient to have. And so if you uh, wanna go back to Chrome OS, all you gotta do is just go to the uh, power button here on the top right hand corner and you can either type in uh, select logout or shutdown right so I went ahead and uh, logged out and uh, it's a little bit of a process there and then you can go ahead and close this and again if you wanted to go back into it you have to start up your browser you gotta go into terminal so it's uh, control alt T and then you would type in shell and then sudo start unity and it would go back into it And so that's pretty much it for this process. Um, I'll be making one more video on installing 
uh, some software, particularly one uh, most requested I often get asked is uh, can it play Minecraft. And so be sure to uh, stay tuned for that next video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.